Hi. One of the things that can help our young people as they go through the ups and downs and trials and tribulations of growing up is to help them to become more emotionally literate. And by that, I mean being able to recognise their own emotions and the emotions of other people. And the way that you can begin to do that when they're very young is just to label an emotion. So, because if they don't know what, what that um, anger is anger, or that fear is fear, or jealous is jealous, um, they won't know how to describe it when the time comes. So, as your child is growing up, just label the emotion that they're experiencing. Not necessarily that it's good or bad, but just labelling it. And then you can develop that as they get older, and um, you can develop that as well. If they can label it and recognise it, then that's the first step really in beginning to be able to regulate themselves. Another thing that you can do is have young children spend time with babies and puppies um, and other small creatures who express their emotions in a very unrestricted way. Um, you can also help children to read uh, facial and maybe other non-verbal cues and there are lots of, um, there are books out actually that are, are very good for that. Um, some like maybe even using emoji charts just pointing out individual emotions and talking to them. And the other um, wonderful film, the Inside Out, get them to watch that. Um, another thing as well is to just unplug the family now and again, and maybe more, yeah, more frequently, so that you actually have time to communicate face to face. We, unfortunately, we're all guilty, I'm guilty too, but of spending too much time in front of our phone, our iPad, our laptop, whatever. So we actually have are losing the skill of face-to-face -face direct communication. So the more that you can do that with your child, with the whole family, the better. Playing games, talking about the day, whatever it is. So, um, so part of the and, and Breathe membership is very much, hope, well, hopefully anyway, supporting the family as well as the older members um, of the family. So today, I would like to share with you a, a meditation, a relaxation, whatever way you want to look at it, for the young people in your family. I would like you to find somewhere comfortable to lie down with your child and you may want a little person, a little toy or um, cuddly friend to come along and if you want to pause just for a minute to go and do that and get comfortable I will just pause for a second as well to allow you to do that. So now you're lying comfortably and I would like you just to let your arms and legs fall to the ground. You're lying down on the floor or on a couch or on the bed, but let your arms and legs fall to the ground and close your eyes gently. So close your eyes gently. Start to notice how your body changes with each breath that you take. Each time you breathe, your tummy moves up and then your tummy moves down. If it's easier, just put a hand on your tummy or if you want, you could put a stuffed animal there or your little cuddly friend. But if for now, if you want to just put your hand on your tummy and just feel your tummy go up and down. So each time you breathe, your tummy moves. Your hand or your toy 
rises and then falls. So see if you can count 10 breaths that way. So breathing in, one, breathing out, one. Breathing two in, two, breathing out, two. Breathing in, three, breathing out, three. Breathing in, four, breathing out, four. Breathing in, five, breathing out, five. Breathing in, six, breathing out, six. Breathing in, seven, breathing out, seven. Breathing in, eight, breathing out, eight. Breathing in, nine, breathing out, nine. Breathing in, 10, breathing out, 10. Now, if you do that without this video and you lose count, don't worry about it. It doesn't really matter. It's just counting approximately 10 in-breaths and 10 out-breaths. So now, I would like you to keep your eyes closed just shift your attention to your D. So breathing in, focus on your breath as your tummy goes up, breathing out and focus on something that went well today. With each breath, breathing in, notice your tummy move and with each breath out, Notice something that went well today. Now, picture something about yourself that makes you proud. Breathing in, focus on your tummy moving. Breathing out, picture something that makes you proud about yourself. If nothing comes to mind, and that sometimes happens, if that's how you feel, picture what you'd wish for yourself instead. So don't worry if you can't find something, although I'm sure you can find something that you're proud of. And finally, I want you to bring to mind somebody who makes you happy. So breathing in, notice your tummy move. And now, breathing out, picture someone who makes you happy. And as you come to the end of this practice, take a few deep breaths and start to wriggle your arms and legs. Pause and decide what you'd like to do next. It's very normal to have thoughts that make us feel scared or bad. And we should never ignore anything important. But it is useful to focus on the rest of our lives too. So take a few moments every day to notice what has gone well and see what happens next. <laughs>